Good morning, Grade Twos. It's so lovely to have you here with me today. I'm really missing teaching in my classroom, so thank you for joining me for this Grade Two Maths lesson. Shall we get started? Okay. If you have any questions while I'm talking, ask Mum or Dad to send me an email on the address on the screen now, grade 2 at worksheetcloud.com, and I'll do my best to answer it in our next lesson. Okay. This is a grade 2 lesson. It's a maths lesson on multiplication, multiplication and it's brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. Okay, before we start, let's do some counting. I think counting is the best way to start a maths lesson. It gets our brain warmed up and ready. So here we go. Let's start counting from 1 till 30. I know this is easy for you, so we're going to do it nice and quickly. Okay, let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Very good. Let's count in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I bet you can go all the way to 100. Hey, let's count in threes. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Great, let's go backwards from 30, just in ones. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Now our last counting is going to be in twos and it's quite an important one for today. So let's concentrate as we count in twos. Some people call it skip counting because you count over the odd numbers. So let's start at two and let's skip count in twos. Two, Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, fifty. Awesome. Now let's do some doubling. This also actually has something to do with what we're going to do today in multiplication. So try and concentrate. Do you know what double one is? You can also say 1 plus 1, 2. Double 2, 2 plus 2 is 4. Double 3, 6. Double 4, 8. Double 5, 10. Double 6, 12. I hope you know these. Double 7, 14. Double 8, it's getting a bit trickier. 8 plus 8 is 16. Double nine, eighteen, double ten, twenty. Do you know what double eleven is? Eleven plus eleven, twenty two. What's double twelve? Twelve plus twelve, mm, twenty four. Well done. Okay, now let's move on to our topic for today, which is multiplication, which is a long way of saying times. You know the plus sign, the minus sign. This is the times sign. And when you see it, you can say in your head, groups of. That's all that it means, groups of. So when we say something times something, we're saying groups of. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a sum. 1 times 2 is, so you could think in your head, 1 group of 2 is, let's make 1 group. Of two. There we go. I've got two dots over there. I drew a red circle around it to show you it's a group. So one group of two is one, two, two. Easy, hey? Okay, let's try another one. Two groups of two, which is two times two. 
let's draw our groups. There's a two, one group of two, another group of two, two groups of two. Another way of saying it is two plus two. Okay, and we know that that's four. Very good. Okay, three times two, three groups of two. There we go, there are three groups of two dots. Can you see the answer already? You can also write two plus two plus two. Two plus two plus two. And that is six. Awesome, three times two is six. Let's try another one. Four times two is, we're getting good at these now. I had to make the groups a bit smaller because there's so many of them. Four groups of two. Two and two and two and two. We can write two plus two plus two plus two. And what is that? Eight. Four times two is eight. Write five times two. Five groups of two. Or we can say two plus two plus two plus two plus two. And what's that? Ten. Right. Five times two is ten. 10. Okay, 6 times 2. 6 groups of 2. We're going to try counting in 2's now. Alright, instead of doing the groups, we're just going to count in 2's 6 times. Okay, because it's 6 groups of 2. So let's try that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. There we go, we've done 6 groups of 2. And so that is... 12. 6 times 2 is 12. If it helps, you can use your fingers and count out 2's using your fingers until you've done it 6 times. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. There we go. 6 times 2 is 12. Next one. 7 times 2. Are you ready? Let's count in 2's. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. There we go, we counted seven times, and the answer is 14. Very good. Eight times two is 16. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Was that right? Let's check our answer. Yes, that was right. We counted in twos eight times to check it is 16. Have you noticed, it's just a little trick when you times in something by two, is it's the same as saying double. If that confuses you, then don't worry about it. But if you notice that trick, it can make it easier, so see if you can spot it with the next one. Nine times two. Okay, you try that on your own. I'm going to give you a moment. Nine groups of two, or you can count in twos nine times, or you can think in your head double. Okay, see if you can get it. 18. Did you get it right? I'm so proud of you for trying. Keep trying. You're doing so well. Next one. 10 times 2. Try it on your own. You use whatever strategy works best for you. 20. Well done. All our brains are different. It doesn't matter which way you got to the answer. You can use any of the strategies we've talked about, as long as your answer was 20. And if it wasn't, don't worry, you'll get it next time. Okay, here's a really tricky one. This is just for some of those smarty pants out there. 11 times 2. 11 groups of 2. I'll give you a moment to think about it. 22. Well done if you got that right. And the hardest one for today, to really give our brains a workout, 12 groups of 2. Are you running out of fingers? Maybe misuse your toes. Okay, 12 times 2 is 24. Very good. Let's try some word problems. It's just a different way of asking these kind of questions. Okay, make us think. There are six bicycles. How many wheels? How many wheels on one bicycle? Two. And there are six bicycles. So we could say two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two. But seeing as though we're doing multiplication today, let's turn that into a time sum. 
How many groups of two? Six groups of two. And so the answer is 12. Six times two is 12. The question was how many wheels? So the answer is 12 wheels. Well done, let's try another one. I pick two apples every day. How many apples will I have picked after a week? Ah, teacher die, you're trying to trick us. Now we have to think, how many days in a week? Seven days in a week, right, not too tricky. And you pick two apples every day. Two, 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 two. two. Or how can we say it in a multiplication kind of way? How many groups of two? Seven groups of two. And we remember that seven times two is 14. So how many apples will I have picked after a week? 14 apples. We're getting really good at these. Last one. How many eyes are there on 10 people? Okay, each person has two eyes, which means that there are 10 groups of two. And that is 20. Very good. 10 groups of 2, 10 times 2 is 20. So the answer is how many eyes? There are 20 eyes. Sure, you guys are superstars. I'm really proud of you. That was quite tricky work, multiplication, and you sailed through it. I hope you enjoyed that lesson as much as I did. Thank you for watching the Grade 2 Maths lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. Ask mum or dad to download the activity that follows this lesson and you can do some of those cool things that we learned today. You can practice them on your own at home. I hope I see you again tomorrow.